is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, It's been a while. Um, Been out of town, had stuff, um, but it's good to be back. Uh, We got big news in the works. We got big news in in advanced talks and discussions. Um, Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford are in advanced talks. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. Uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is completely dedicated uh, to boxing in the Lone Star State. So let's get into today's show. Speaking of the Lone Star State, Errol Spence um, and Crawford. Crawford was on uh, the, the zone. Chopping it up, saying they're in talks um, for a fight. Michael Coppinger also reported this. Um, um, for October, uh, I, Michael Coppinger, I'm pulling up right now, the ESP, the box two are closing in on an agreement for about in October. There's been speculation that a fight between arguably the two best pound for pound fighters in the world could be in the works. Well, they're not the two best pound for pound fighters, but we'll say the two best American fighters. You know, the best fighters in America. Uh, the two best fighters post Floyd Mayweather era, honestly. Um, and, and this is what I want to get into. They've been in the same weight class since 2018. Since 2018. Um, and they can't get this together. We're four years in um, at this point. And we, we just can't figure this out. And I, I, for the life of me, well, I, I do understand it. But this is the dynamic that's changed in the sport of boxing. Um, it used to be you got your biggest purse when you fought the other best fighters in your weight class. And, and for some reason, the purse wasn't big enough for this fight to make until now. Is, is that what I'm supposed to uh, take from this? Now, all of a sudden, it's big enough? Um... <sighs> Yeah, you know, what's unfortunate is that neither guy really pushed for this fight. You know, if they got it, they got it. If they didn't, they were fine not getting it. And and, and that's really unfortunate because these are the two best, not just the two best welterweights, although they are the two best welterweights. These are the two best American fighters post Floyd May, post Floyd Mayweather. And they're in the same weight class, both in their prime. Now Crawford probably coming out of this prime. We didn't get it for four years. Now, if Spence wins, is it is it? Mark, is it Crawford's not in his prime? Is it Crawford's too old? Crawford's not 100%. Um, if Crawford wins, does Spence wait too long? Is Spence not a, a welterweight anymore? Does Spence outgrow the division? I'm, I mean, we're going to get it. It looks like, although, you know, don't hold your breath. Although it, it does look that way. Um, it looks like they're getting close. It does look like both fighters want the fight. Um, for Crawford, it would make him a, a, a two-time, a two-division unified champion in the four belt era, which would be really, really impressive. Uh, Spence obviously would, would become the undisputed uh, welterweight champ, the first undisputed welterweight champ in the four belt era and the first undisputed champ since Zab Judah did it in the three belt era um, over 20 years ago. Yeah, probably about 20 years ago. Some do the math on that. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Um, as for the fight itself, it's obviously a great fight. We've been calling for this fight literally since 2017. Since 2017, I've been asking for this fight. Um, I know there were different weight classes at that time, but Crawford had all but I've grown 140. There was really nothing at 144. I said, let him go up to he's the best fighter, you know, um, in the world, or at that time, probably south of Andre Ward. Let him go up to 47. You know, um, we didn't get it then, and now we're four years into this. We still haven't gotten it. And no one's really pushed for it, right? I mean, the fans have asked for it, but the fans haven't really demanded it. There's been no, you know, and, and Spence has fought a ton of good fighters. So you can't, you know, Ugas, Danny Garcia, Sean Porter. You know, he, he's fought who who would want him to fight, except for Keith Thurman. Um, and that obviously wasn't Spence's fault. You know, Crawford fought Porter and a bunch of nobodies. Um, but this is going to be, I, I think, the defining moment. And, and the problem is, you know, when you have two guys, 
close in age, at the top of their game, the very best in the sport. They should be fighting two or three times, but now they're going to fight once, right? And that's fine, right? But you know, you want to you want to build a legacy. You want to build this, you know, feud between the two of them. The, 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 this great trilogy of fights, this great epic battles, right? And like he did with Pacquiao and Marquez, and you're going to get it once, um, and then. Uh, you know, I guess both guys go up to 54. Who knows? Maybe they went about. Maybe they don't. It's going to be tough for Spence because Charlo, his buddy, his stablemate, has all the belts. Uh, if Crawford wins, it makes more sense. Crawford can go from 47. He go right into that fight if he wanted it. Um, but then that opens up now the new welterweight division. right? And by the new welterweight division, I mean Boots. I mean Verge. I mean Connor Ben. There's a couple other guys, right? But those, those are the three main names. Um, and... Welterweight division is in great hands. It really is. But we're only going to get this fight once, um, which is better than none. But I just wish they would have fought three years ago, four years ago, and then fought again last year, and then fight again next year, you know, fight three times, you know, because they're so even. Like, look, you may think Crawford's going to win. You may think Spencer's going to win. In reality, if you're being honest, you're not sure. You're not, right? Like, tell me why. If you're picking Spence, tell me why Crawford can't win this fight. Tell me why Spence is so much clearly better that he's got Crawford all south, or vice versa. If you think Crawford's going to win, tell me why Spence couldn't score the couldn't couldn't eke out a decision. He couldn't put the pressure on and break down Crawford. Explain to me why, right? So we don't know who's going to win, and that's what the makes of a great fight, right? I really, and if you play this thing back ten times, it might be five five. That's how close this is. That's how tight this is. You know, I, I'm leaning towards Spence. So ever so closely, I'm leaning towards Spence now. I, two years ago, three years ago, if you would have asked me, I would have you know, would have went the other way. I probably said, eh, probably Crawford. I, at this point, I, I, I do think Crawford's aged a little bit. Um, I, I don't think I, I think Porter was having success putting pressure on him. I, I think Spence can do that better. I think Spence, but Spence can box better than Porter. So he's not going to get outboxed. He's not going to just be chasing Crawford around the ring like Porter was in spot. So he can survive. Right. I think he can stay on his feet and he can get through the fight and he can win. He can finish the blueprint that Porter laid out. That Porter started but couldn't finish. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, we do, it does look like we're gonna get this fight, you know. So that's a good news. Um are you guys excited? Also, let me know who you think is gonna win. Are you guys 50-50 on it as I am, because I'm pretty 50-50 on it. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. Texas Boxing Scene, please describe the Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is June 18th, 2022. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.